Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith. You're watching Barber's Auto Help. In today's video, I've got a great example of what rear end howl or whine upon tip end sounds like. First, we'll take a listen to the sound. And then afterwards, I'll give you a brief explanation of what I mean by tip end. We'll discuss the symptom a bit. And then I'll give you a very brief explanation as to what causes this problem. Let's go ahead and take a listen to the noise. Okay, so what did I mean by tip in? Tip in is the initial application of the accelerator pedal. And this noise usually begins to happen upon initial tip in and as the accelerator pedal is being applied steadily. Upon initial tip out or release of the accelerator pedal, this noise will usually go away. The noise will also not be present as the vehicle is coasting with the accelerator pedal not applied. Let's watch that example one more time. Now it's been my experience that this noise usually begins to be noticeable at around the 25 mile per hour mark and can increase in intensity as the speed of the vehicle picks up. And it's also noticeable that the noise is originating from behind you where the rear end or rear differential would be located at. Now if your vehicle is equipped with a four wheel drive system and it has a front differential as well, it is possible that you may experience this noise coming from the front end also. But for those instances, it's probably most likely that this noise would only be experienced if the vehicle were placed into four-wheel drive. Now, what causes this symptom? It's typically a worn ring and pinion gear that causes this. Wear on the ring and pinion will cause the gears not to mesh properly, creating this noise. And this wear is usually found on the drive side of the ring and pinion gears. Thus, the reason that the symptom only occurs while the vehicle is being accelerated or at steady speed with the accelerator pedal applied. Under those conditions, the ring and pinion gear are pressed together on the drive side. Upon tip out and during coasting, the pressure is no longer applied to the drive side and the pressure is transferred to the coast side of the ring and pinion gears. The coast side of the ring gear is going to be the concave side and the convex side is going to be the drive side. Now, another reason that this symptom can occur is because the rear end was set up improperly. Pinion depth and backlash are extremely important when it comes to setting up a differential correctly. If pinion depth and backlash are not set properly, the ring and pinion gears will not mesh correctly and it will create noise. Well folks, I certainly hope that this video was a help to you. Do note that this video is very general in nature and is not intended to help you fully and properly diagnose and repair your differential or remedy this particular noise. This video is only intended to help you have an idea as to what may be going on with your vehicle and what may be causing it. It is possible that whatever's causing your symptom may be the result of a failure of some other component. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I do that. Also, please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. Have a good one, folks. Please like and subscribe.